This is a very exciting video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Gemini 2.5 Pro with Klein. I'm going to show you absolutely everything. I'm going to explain rate limits. I'm going to explain how to use free APIs. This is something that I now consider to be on par with Sonic 3.7 for coding in terms of being able to one-shot something that's actually useful. And effectively, we can build insane apps for free. So if budget was previously an issue for you, and to be honest with you, even with me, like sometimes if I'm just spending $60 on the Sonic API, I'm not really getting anything. I'd rather spend a little bit more time and spend less money because obviously, you know, money is valuable at the end of the day. So yeah, let's just get into this video. So the first thing is the two APIs. So go on Google and type in Google AI Studio, right? This is the first API usage. So from here, what you want to do is you want to go to get API key right here. And then you can see I've got a few set up right here, but none of them, they're all free, right? So what you actually need is you need to set up billing data. So I've got another account here, get API right here. And you'll see that this one here has a tier one. This is what you want. You need, you, you basically need tier one to be able to use this, right? Without tier one, you're really going to struggle and it's just not really worth it. So from here, you just press create API key and you grab an API key. Before we go on to Visual Studio Code and Klein, however, let's just talk about the second one, which is, of course, Open Router. So the problem with Open Router compared to using Google's is that there is a daily limit to this, I believe. However, the kind of upside to this is that it has more rate, more lit, more use per minute, like you can use it more per minute. And you can see just how popular this model actually is right now. This is crazy amounts of uh, prompt token. So everybody is using this. I don't know how Google is sustaining this. Absolutely insane um, workload. But I mean, 17 billion tokens, 17 billion tokens, 16 billion tokens. It's not really going down. Like it, it's what, what this shows is that this is a super popular model that is working well on Open Router, right? So we're just going to do some basic playing around with Klein, and I'm going to show you how to get around rate limits, etc. But just remember that everything here is completely free. The only thing you do need to set uh, billing data, so you do need a card and stuff, and you do need a billing account on Google, but you don't actually need to pay for anything. Now, if you're struggling to keep up with AI news and AI tips and all of that good stuff, then please feel free to check out the first link in the description, which will be a link to this school course. I'm working through this right now. I'm putting my heart and soul into this course. And one of the things here is um, Klein and MCPs and third-party APIs and all of that. It's very, very detailed. I've got as much information in there as possible. One thing that I'm going to add very soon is model comparisons and things like that. So if you want to keep up with stuff a little bit more easily, and if you don't know what you're doing with setting up Klein and using Visual Studio Code and all of that stuff, like it, all of that is in the course right here. Okay, so once you're on Visual Studio Code, just install Klein, and then we've got Klein right here. Go to Settings, and then go to Provider, and we will go to Google Gemini. I already have an API key, so just set your API key here, and then get uh, this model right here, so Gemini 2.5 Pro. This is the thinking model. So one of the, th one of the rate limits is um, two calls per minute, right? But one of the good things about using Klein with this workflow is that it generally doesn't do two calls per minute when it's writing really long um, pieces of code, right? And also another advantage of this is that it has a 1 million context window, right? So one thing I'm considering doing is reading my um, SAS Harbor and then working on Harbor that way because 1 million input tokens is a lot. It's a lot of context. So we'll just do a very simple prompt here. We'll just say... Just uh, just so you guys know, I have already tested this with a much more complicated prompt and it worked really, really well. That's not what this video is about. This video is just about getting it to do what you want, right? Getting it to work. So let's just do a simple Python script. Actually, we may as well keep it um, like interesting. So let's do, let's go to my prompts here from the course. All of my prompts are here. All my prompts are available for free online as well, but they're just all here with SOPs. So I'm just gonna grab this prompt right here and I'm just gonna walk through this process. This is kind of annoying to copy actually. I should probably fix that. So we'll just grab all of this code. I'm not going to go through this entire thing, but I just want to show you that it can actually work with Gemini. A lot of people are saying, oh, it keeps overloading or whatever. You just got to be a little bit more patient with it. I think one update that they should do as soon as possible, this is on the wrong model. One update they should do as soon as possible is if it gets overloaded, they should um, 
get it to try again, basically. I think that would be really, really useful. So let's just change this to 2.5. There we go. And then make sure Act is on 2.5. It is. So we'll just start a whole new chat and send that. And then this might overload immediately because, I mean, they're getting 18 billion tokens requests a day, which is insane. That's insane amounts of... That's 18,000 million, right? That means 18,000 people a day at least are using a million tokens. That's insane. Okay, so, so far so good. This is a good plan. Okay. Um, just create, just plan everything for me first, then create everything from scratch. So you can see that was pretty, you know, that worked pretty well, right? There was no problem here. And you can see as well, if you go on Open Router, it actually says free right here. It's literally zero um, input tokens, zero output tokens, right? So this is the way that I've found that works the best, right? We'll run another one at the same time, just side-by-side -side comparison using... So this is actually Gemini, thinking about it. So I think this is also free. Yeah, it is also free. So we'll change this one to Open Router. Um, and we'll put this on Open Router. There we go. And then this on Open Router. Okay, so this is also completely free as well. And if Google isn't working for you, then maybe just try this. I accidentally put this on Act, but you know, I'm not trying to build anything. I'm just going to show you how this works. So I'll just say here, I actually changed the model here as well because I've already got um, a client open. So we'll just run one. It's fine. Both are free, and these these are the best ways to to access them. I've shown you both the best ways. Let's just run this. So let's say go for it. So you can see it works, right? It's not spending any money and it codes as well as Anthropic. So like, shit is insane, honestly, if you think about it. So you can see it's doing everything for me. It's literally working just as well as Anthropic. There's literally no issues here whatsoever. Like it, it's getting a few things wrong. It probably doesn't know that I'm on Windows, for example. But yeah, I'm going to leave the video there, guys. This is just basically a setup, guys. Now, just go ahead and code to your heart's content completely for free. This is really, really cool. I'm going to make a few more videos like this, probably with MCP setups for um, Gemini and things like that. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the school, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.